uh, you already know about the uh, mark distribution of the written exam of first professional BBS examination. Today we discuss about the thorax card. Some question frequently may uh, come uh, from the thorax card in your paper two question uh, paper. The trunk of the body is divided by the diaphragm into an upper part called the thorax and a lower part called the abdomen. The thorax is supported by a skeletal framework thoracic case contain principal organ of respiration and circulation. Thoracic case is an osseocartilaginous elastic and conical cavity. The upper opening is called inlet which is narrow and lower wider opening is outlet. Boundary of thoracic case is anteriorly sternum and posteriorly body of the 12th thoracic vertebra and their intervertebral disc on each side ribs with their cartilage. Inlet of thorax. The narrow upper end of the thorax which is continuous with the neck is called inlet of thorax. Boundary of inlet is anteriorly upper border of the sternum and posteriorly superior surface of the body of the first thoracic vertebra on each side first rib with its cartilage structure passing through the inlet the trachea esophagus brachiocephalic trunk left common carotid and left subclavian artery right and left brachiocephalic vein right and left phrenic nerve and vagus nerve this is the diagram of the thoracic inlet you have to draw the diagram in your written exam. Another question may come from the clinical anatomy. Thoracic inlet syndrome. Compression of the structures passing through the thoracic inlet produce sign and symptom called thoracic inlet syndrome. Diminished pulsation of the wrist due to compression of the subclavian artery, paralysis of hemidiaphragm due to involvement of phrenic nerve, hoarseness of voice resulting from the compression of recurrent laryngeal nerve. Intercostal space. Space between two ribs are called intercostal space. They are 11 in number. On each side, anteriorly last two intercostal space are open because 11th and 12th rib are floating. Third, fourth, fifth and sixth intercostal space are typical. Boundary of the intercostal space. Above lower margin of the upper rib and its cartilage. Below upper margin of the lower rib and its cartilage. In front lateral border of the sternum behind body of the corresponding thoracic vertebra contents muscle are external intercostal muscle internal intercostal muscle innermost intercostal muscle vessels are intercostal vein intercostal artery and nerve are intercostal nerve these are the content of the intercostal space Intercostal artery. In its space, intercostal arteries are arranged into two groups, anterior and posterior intercostal artery. Anterior intercostal artery are two in number in each space. Upper six space anterior intercostal artery are the branches of internal thoracic artery and lower three spaces intercostal artery are derived from musculophrenic artery. Posterior intercostal artery. In each space, there are one posterior intercostal artery. In upper two spaces, the posterior intercostal artery are the branches of the superior intercostal artery, which is derived from the costocervical trunk, a branch of subclavian artery. In lower nine space, the posterior intercostal artery are the branches of descending thoracic aorta, intercostal vein. Upper six space intercostal anti intercostal vein drain into the internal thoracic vein. Lower three space the into the musculophrenic vein. Posterior intercostal vein.
posterior intercostal vein on right side first posterior intercostal vein drain into the right brachiocephalic vein second third and fourth intercostal vein unite to form right superior intercostal vein which drain into the azygous vein fifth to 11 intercostal anterior uh, posterior intercostal vein terminate into the azygous vein on left side first left first posterior intercostal vein drain into the left brachiocephalic vein second third and fourth intercostal vein are joined to form the left superior intercostal vein which drain into the left brachiocephalic vein fifth to seventh inter posterior intercostal vein 5 to 7 posterior intercostal vein drain into the superior hemiazygous vein 8 to 11th intercostal vein are drain into the inferior hemiazygous vein then into the azygous vein intercostal nerve intercostal nerve are 11 in number on each side each nerve is formed by the ventral ramus of thoracic 1 to thoracic 11 spinal nerve thoracic 12 is the subcostal nerve the third to six intercostal nerve are typical because they are confined only to the thoracic wall major portion of the ventral ramus of the first thoracic nerve forms the lower trunk of the brachial plexus after joining with the cervical 8 nerve they also supply the arm so they are called intercostobrachial nerve they are the atypical intercostal nerve 7 to 11th intercostal nerve appear in the anterior abdominal wall 7 to 11 also are atypical intercostal nerve in written exam the question may come write down the formation of intercostal nerve spinal nerve you often make mistake uh, this uh, question spinal nerve is formed by the ventral and dorsal root of the spinal cord but intercostal nerve is formed by the only ventral ramus of thoracic 1 to thoracic 11 spinal nerve this is the diagram of the intercostal nerve and this is the diagram of the how a spinal nerve is formed some question may come from the pleura the pleura is a delicate and closed serous sac into which corresponding lung invasionate parts of pleura it consists of parietal and visceral pleura parietal pleura which cover the body wall and visceral pleura which cover the which invest the entire lung parts of the parietal pleura are cervical pleura which cover the apex of the lung and costal pleura which cover the costal surface of the lung diaphragmatic pleura which cover the diaphragmatic surface of the lung and mediastinal pleura which cover the mediastinal surface of the lung these are the parts of parietal pleura suprapleural membrane <coughs> Suprapleural membrane, it is a dome-shaped musculofacial expansion which protect the apex of the lung and cervical pleura from the structures of the root of the neck. Its muscular part is derived from the scalenus minimus muscle and fascial part from endothoracic fascia. Attachment Behind tip of the transfer process of the seven cervical vertebra, and in front inner border of the first rib medially continuous with the pretracheal fascia by the side of the trachea this is the attachment of the suprapleural membrane behind tip of the transfer process of seven cervical vertebra and in front it is attached with the inner border of the first rib and medially continuous with the pretracheal fascia by the side of the trachea Suprapleural membrane come in your written exam as a short note. Costodiaphragmatic recess. It is another important written question. It is a cliff like potential space between the lower limit of the pleural sac and the lower border of the corresponding lung. Importance is 
allow expansion of the lung in full inspiration it is the most dependent part of the pleural sac if fluid appear in the pleural sac it collect first in the costodiaphragmatic recess this is the diagram of the costodiaphragmatic